Precision TV. My name is Desiree. Uh, today, of course, we were talking about uh, Ambassadors of Christ Choir, the trip, the missionary trip they are having here in, uh, in Dallas, Texas. Uh, so I was grateful to have uh, uh, one of the pastors who have been organizing this event. Uh, let me ask you to introduce yourself so that people can know exactly who you are. Thank you so much. My name is Pastor Wycliffe Opio. Mm -hmm. I'm the pastor of Mount Zion Fellowship Church, the church that has brought ambassadors of Christ here in the U.S. All right, all right. Uh, so we've been uh, blessed. Everybody have been blessed to see ambassadors of Christ choir here in Texas uh, or in U.S. in general. So why are you guys... Uh, choose ambassadors of Christ choir well uh, we chose this choir because this choir is unique their message you know as you all know the story of Rwanda uh, the genocide and uh, their story is very is a healing story uh, from their story you understand that they came together after the genocide and now they, through singing, has made them to bring both camps that were at one time could not see eye to eye. But through singing, they have been reconciled. Mm -hmm. And that's the message that, you know, we want to extend to them, to bring even here in the U.S., so that they can help in the healing process. All right. That means you guys have planned uh, maybe uh, a, a healing uh, process of bring back people to God. Yes. Uh, so you choose ambassadors of Christ Choir to be part of your plan. And uh, now they are here. So uh, what is uh, uh, the main purpose of your, uh, uh, your healing process? Well, for this trip specifically, we have a crusade mm -hmm. uh, that has been running uh, since Sunday. Okay. And uh, one of the great things that has happened through their singing, uh, people, you know, come from all over and they are able to listen to the Word of God. And uh, as I can tell, like today we are going to have big baptism and uh, we thank God for that. Also, that means uh, through ambassadors of Christ, you seem like people are coming. People are coming as you guys uh, planned or thinking. Yeah, people, people have been coming to these meetings and they are very excited about the ministry of ambassadors of Christ. What are you guys planning about maybe having uh, a strong relationship with this choir since uh, it has uh, a story uh, of, of healing, a uh, story which can make someone to feel like, yes, everything is possible. Uh, what is uh, like... Uh, a partnership that you guys can make up to do something bigger than this uh, since you guys uh, you may plan something like building something strong with ambassadors well you're right uh, the main goal and the vision of Mount Zion Church is to partner with this powerful uh, choir to do greater things that God has opened for us uh, we want to expose them to North America and Europe at large with this powerful gospel. And we plan to work hand in hand with them, uh, not only to, to be exposed to this side, but also to strengthen their ministry back home uh, in Africa as a whole. So we, uh, this is a bond, this is a partnership that we've worked on and uh, through proper planning we plan to take them all over the states in the u.s in the future so it's not just uh, a visit for this time but it's a long-term plan according to the u.s uh, like uh, a u.s culture everybody is busy everybody's working everybody like nobody want to come to church what is the strategies that are you using to bring back people to this kind of crusade since it's been uh, held in uh, business days 
Well, uh, you like, you know, the uniqueness of this choir, or this ministry. Uh, people love to hear, first of all, them singing. Uh, the other time when we went to Dallas for a convention, uh, expo, and uh, they just did some short phrase of one of their songs, and within no time, people were surrounding them. And uh, that explains much more about what this ministry is all about. People connect with them. And so we are using this connection to bring people to Christ. Will you take some time maybe uh, saying that uh, you can even visit Rwanda personally uh, through this uh, maybe this kind of message of healing that ambassadors of Christ Choir is doing uh, through their songs? Yeah, like I said, uh, it's going to be a long-term partnership ministry. And it's not just one way. We plan to do more ministry in Africa, specifically in Rwanda, with them, and to help in planting churches even over there. And on a personal note, you know, I'd mentioned to them that I would go there very soon. All right. I think they may say welcome to Rwanda. Okay, oh, let's say maybe uh, you guys, last time they didn't have like, let me say, maybe enough time to show their talent, to show everything that they have been a plan to give all, all the audience. So what's going to be like, what's going to be next for the next, uh, uh, like tomorrow? Uh, tomorrow we expect a very huge day, uh, the climax of our crusade and uh, even for their concert, it's one of the big concerts that we expect to experience tomorrow. And you know, we invite everybody uh, to come and uh, enjoy the fellowship that we'll have uh, tomorrow in Dallas. We are going to be there the whole day, the address is 2020. West Whitland Road, Dallas, Texas, 2020 West Whitland Road, Dallas, Texas. That's uh, about 20 minutes from here. Uh, the building is Friendship West Baptist Church. All oh, right. People may think that uh, uh, maybe paying money to go to worship God or to enjoy some kind of concert will be something a mm, little bit weird. What can you tell, like, those kind of people who still may be thinking about that? Well, like I said, our partnership is ministry-oriented. Uh, of course, we'll have a free worship in the morning, but the concert is, is a paid concert, and the reason why it's a paid concert, first of all, uh, it's a cost to bring this group all this far from Rwanda. And at the same time, you know, all the proceeds, all the monies that are generated through the concert are directed uh, straight to the ministry. So, you know, like it takes money to do ministry. So the concert is affordable $30 per head uh, with children under five are free. So we hope to enjoy. Will you uh, in the future maybe say that you can invite ambassadors of Christ Choir to join you guys to do something, uh, especially bring people back to God? Absolutely. Uh, we're working on that and we uh, expect bigger things to happen in the future. Ambassadors of Christ Choir has a lot of songs. Do you happen to know one of them? Kwetu Pazuri. Kwetu Pazuri. All right. These songs may be, a, may be a specific reason you picked that. Why did you choose as, a, as your like, a favorite song? Oh, well, it's a song that has connected with uh, all generation in, you know, in various continents. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a very powerful song that you know, they've used as their brand. And it also has a loaded message about heaven. Uh, so it's a very uh, uh, powerful song to use as a ministry tool. All right. Will you maybe tell any organization, any church, to maybe to bring ambassadors? Uh, maybe you will guarantee them that you may, they may have uh, uh, something of benefit to their churches or in 
in a way of a spiritual way uh, what is the cost maybe is there any cost maybe to bring ambassadors like what can you tell anybody else who want to bring ambassadors of Christ choir in their activities well it's a costly <laughs> process <laughs> it's a lot of money involved but you know at the same time the God we serve is the one who provides mm -hmm. so but anything everything that is put before God is always possible is beside uh, maybe the cost of ticket is anything else uh, behind that yeah okay yeah. like uh, uh, what you, else? Know, you have accommodation you have uh, all these other expenses that you know we beside that maybe ambassadors can charge the money maybe for their own purpose oh say that again uh, beside the accommodation mm -hmm. and the other expenses mm -hmm. is there any expenses that uh, you guys have been paid no we've been taking care of everything as a church okay yeah they are our visitors mm -hmm. and we have to make sure that we Take, take care, care of, of our visitors all right this is precision tv i was talking to pastor pastor thank you so much thank you so much all right thank you so much guys for being with us or uh, click on subscribe and then see everything happening on precision tv thank you pastor thank you